everyone, this is Brian Bentley at CoinOp TV bringing you gameplay and commentary for Resident Evil 7 on the PlayStation 4. Right off the bat, you're going to notice we're in first person, folks, which is a complete departure from the rest of the series, which is played in third person. Uh, I, I actually kind of missed the third person. Uh, it's not that the first person was necessarily bad for this particular venue, but and one thing I will say is the game is a little bit shorter than than I would have expected out of a Resident Evil game. But that having been said, I'm not sure I w would have wanted the game to be too much longer in this first person mode. I would have preferred it to be in third person uh, just because I feel like that that's what a Resident Evil game is or is a part of it. And yeah, okay, that's bias on my part, but as a guy who's played all of them, but I did play three now that I think about that. Not important. You know, having played, uh, you know, almost all the Resident Evil games, I, I guess I just would have preferred to stick to stick to what it has made the franchise what it is. And now I will say that it is a vast departure from the at, at more action oriented five and six, which is definitely a plus for me. Prefer, you know, two or four where, you know, it's more of a. This is this is this I thought was hilarious where the guy just walks away. You're like, oh, okay. Uh, anyway, these are called the molders moldings, where they kind of come out of this black goop. Uh, but I so I wanted to kind of show some monsters. I mean, a lot of the trailers and stuff they focus on the Baker family, which are who are important parts of the whole thing, to the whole game. But but it but 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 really. Uh, I, I thought I really like these monsters because I mean, they can, you know, they can creep up on you. They can hit you from uh, a range. You know, like they they cock back and with both arms they sw sling them forward, which I think is uh, you know kind of interesting. Now, uh, one thing that I will say is that you'll notice that in my handgun I have two different types of bullets. There are I'm I'm creating them now. Uh, they're called enhanced bullets. So my shotgun, my my handgun now has better bullets to use on the monsters. So, you know, regular handgun bullet, you know, takes many shots of the head. Whereas a enhanced bullet, if you get them right in the forehead, it's a win. Of course, a Resident Evil game wouldn't be a Resident Evil game if uh, you didn't have. Okay, well the guy didn't come out, but wait, hold. On. Let me just take it one more step further. I'll trigger the thing. You know, gotta love video games like that. Anyway, oh, there you go, got him. Uh, there. Oh, and you'll notice right there, I did what they call a guard. So the guard is great because it's it diminishes some of the damage that you know much of the damage. Now it doesn't take all of it away, but it does diminish some of the damage that you are uh, that you experience. And it really does come in handy, especially when you're hitting, you know, you're fighting multiple enemies or, you know, I know there are multiple boss fights where you're kind of like, okay, well, the, the best way for me to get through this is to simply, simply guard at the right time in order to, I want to say live to fight another day. So, wow, I am... I am really just shooting all over the place. Oh, there we go. I got one. Uh, so there are some definite uh, things that I like about Resident Evil 7 as comparative to, you know, say 5 or 6. Uh, this is definitely more survival horror in that uh, there's definitely a lot of, you know, uh, inventory management. That's important. You'll actually... Th now, what, what's about to happen, I think, is actually a very interesting thing concept in the game because I, I don't know if it's I go past a certain point and he kicked me out of the room and then he disappears and comes back and he kind of re-goes back to the uh, spot so I think I don't know if it's just a part of the game or if that's you know the way it should happen but I, I thought that was kind of an interesting you'll notice he's going to come right back and I'm going to kill him now but But I'm definitely, uh, I'm definitely liking the game. On the other hand, uh, 
It's not my favorite Resident Evil in the series. It, it, it's okay. Part of the problem was is I'd you know finish a session and then I'd kind of be like, eh, not really sure I want to go back. It's it's just okay. But I, I like, when I'm playing it, I'm enjoying it. But there are just times where I'm just I don't know. I, it wasn't like the story is not necessarily very compelling. Uh, so it, it's hard because it doesn't really drive you. To find out more information, they they kind of tried, but it, it didn't wasn't necessarily the most successful. Anyway, I hope you like this video. Uh, if you do, give it a thumbs up. It's right below the number of views on the screen. Be sure to uh, subscribe to the Coin Up TV YouTube channel. You know, and uh, leave your comments below. Uh, are you playing Resident Evil Seven? Uh, do you like it? Let us know, and we'll see.